Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the court. Oh, I guess this is a special report from here aboard the Valiant Lady. Well, it seems the latest kerfuffle in the cruise community is this whole situation with Norwegian canceling a uh, family's cruise and keeping $4,600 over an unpaid bus transfer, uh, a $112 bus transfer. Um, okay, so <laughs> can't believe this has happened. Now, the first thing we all need to do is uh, give thanks to La Lido Loca and the Ship Life for getting the situation resolved in the guests' favor by simply making videos about it. Yes, publicly shaming corporations does tend to have the desired effect, especially when they find themselves in kind of an indefensible position. But let's talk about that for a second. It seems some people are being um, a little too generous with praise for Norwegian in rectifying this situation and doing the right thing. I will not do that. I will do no such thing. I will give Norwegian absolutely no credit in this situation because A, it should never have happened, and B, well, well, A, that was B. Let's just, this is A because it's the most important. There is absolutely no excuse, none whatsoever, to have a customer-facing method for a guest to get themselves into this situation. You cannot simply say, oh, the guest should have known, or they should have known the rules, or blah, blah, blah. No, absolutely not. <laughs> right? The fact that anybody could get themselves into this situation, and apparently that's a thing, is inexcusable. And then the way they handled it afterwards, no, no. They deserve no credit for this situation. What should have happened is, sure, it happens. She calls. She says, this is what happened. They look at it. They see, oh, okay, we know what happened. That's weird. Let's just go ahead and reinstate it without the bus transfer. Sorry, because you didn't pay for them. And that would have been the end of it. That's what makes sense. But here's the thing. Apparently, like I said, this is a thing. When reading up on this, I went over to a thread over on Cruise Critic and now, all I could do was read because I'm still banned from Cruise Critic, but that's a different story. So there are things that you can do to a reservation, some that will trigger an auto-cancel, others that won't trigger an auto-cancel. And for uh, a variety of theoretically understandable reasons, a bus transfer is something that will cause an auto-cancel. But here's the thing. What shocks me most about this story, what I cannot believe, what I cannot fathom, what I still cannot really understand how they would let this happen for a company as as give us the money oriented like Norwegian that they would modify the record without collecting the money first <laughs> that is what I find most unbelievable about this scenario they let it happen they let her change her reservation they let her add a bus transfer without getting the money <laughs> that that is what I want them to explain now technically I can come up with a whole bunch of scenarios that would have let this happen you know, things happen in different orders and things fail and blah, blah, blah. That's totally fine. And there might be reasons why it's really hard to fix. This could be something. This very well could be something. And I could come up with a scenario that would only happen at a very specific time frame. Because some people on Cruise Critic were mentioning that she actually did this on uh, 24, no, 24, 21 days before final payment, which is a, a special date in the reservation system. So I could see how this happened. But they should have known about that and then fixed it. And apparently this does happen because other travel agents have warned about it. So, um, yeah, this is not a great look for Norwegian. I will probably end up canceling my next sailing on them because, I don't know, it just doesn't, just does not feel right to deal with them. And I'm going to circle back to something I said in my 18 reasons why I'm taking a break for, from Norwegian. This is a huge management fail. That's all that this is a huge, huge management fail. And if they're going to fail on something so absurd as this, again, what else are they failing on? And I'm asking myself, or I have asked myself, is dealing with those potential failures something that I want to deal with? The answer is no. So I will not be giving Norwegian any praise for resolving this situation in the guest's favor. There is no excuse for this to have happened, and that's not something. Now, they're going to have to change. Hopefully, the new CEO will turn some things around, and uh, I will reevaluate eventually once I start hearing positive stories, you know, of how are they doing things. Maybe I'll give them another try, but for now, yeah. So I guess it's now 19 reasons why, yeah, Norwegian, we're still on a break.
Well, I am going to head back to the day here on Valiant Lady. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. And now I have to figure out... Uh, I Now I have to pick a new Alaska cruise. Gosh darn it. See, they just keep causing me problems. But, of course, they are problems that I am thankful for.